We are coming to you live from Steel Town, Pennsylvania at the sold-out Three Mile Island Stadium. There's nothing quite like playing in the scenic toxic nuclear waste dump. Today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams take the field. The Motor City Maniacs battle. The Blitzburg Steelheads. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow with you on MFL Game Day. Hey, uh, Briggs, do you smell something burning? Ah, thanks for reminding me. I left my rubber foot in the toaster oven to warm it up. Last time I left it there too long, it came out like Saganaki. Opa! Uh -huh. It's freezing in here. Hey, why don't you take your shampoo and ouzo, stick your head in the toaster oven. That'll warm you up. And it's first and ten. Oh, nice hit! Second down and long. And he was stuck to him like glue. Third down and the punter is warming up. And he rumbles for big yardage on that play. They're back in business, Bricks. My mom told me to stay out of other people's businesses, Grim. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, well, maybe actually discuss this on here. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a dog named Snag. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. Starting to go somewhere, but he gets stumped after three. They usually stop me after three, too. You know, the all you can eat buffets? They're not as literal as you'd think. Second down and seven. <laughs> and that is caught for a first down. <laughs> and it's first and ten. heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole up here. Talking to you. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of our ladies of holy hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can... The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. This guy's a brick shithouse. Oh, with a punishing hit. First and ten. He had it for a second there. Second down and ten. Oh, with the brutal hit. down and a pussy here. Pow! With 
the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. Second down and ten. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Third down and ten. Oh, a great play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And he put all of his foot into that one. And he just lets that one go. He says, no, thank you. And the defense downs it. And it's first and ten. And picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I got to uh... <clears throat> but smart time to punt whoa whoa you can't say that on the radio nice punt should move him back nice and he's got a chance for a good return here oh what a punishing hit that was and that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size because he just walks all over him First and ten. Oh, great pass block. That's just as good as a sack. No, it ain't. When you get a sack, you get to hit the QB in the nuts. Yeah, good point, Junior. And then a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. First down and seven. And so at the end of the first quarter, we've got a scoreless game. First down and seven. Should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. 
You pay him for the pick six. For this, you just give him a pat on the head and tell him they don't suck. Third down, and the punter is warming up. First down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. And it's first and ten. the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. First down and seven. And that's a run for no gain. Then it's not really a run, is it? Second down and seven. Third down and, well, good luck. Chunks of yards now. Nice reception for 10 yards. And kickers practice for this kind of kick every day. Pretty standard. Nothing standard when you got bloodthirsty mutants on the defensive line. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. First down! He hit that line the way a rolled up dollar bill sticking out of flimsy Lohan's nose. It's a mare in Lost Wages, Nevada. And it's first and ten. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Second down and ten. Just some good old downhill running there as he picks up the first down. And it's first and ten. When I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Oh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. And that'll be second and eight to go. Perfect pass and a score! Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff to 
freedom from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Two minutes remain in the half. Wait! I gotta take a dump! And it's first and ten. Man, oh man, he hit that line the way your wife hits the all-you-can-eat buffet of crab apple trees, Bricks. Uh, you and they take their first time out. Uh, how predictable. Surprise us next time. Call the time out during halftime. And it's first and ten. This guy dropped a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw. The QB saves some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. And it's first and ten. Uh, uh. And that's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Quinn, why is it that more mentally disturbed clock? And that's it. That's the last timeout. It's score or die from here out. Second and three. I've seen this guy run through a brick wall. He loves pain. First down. And it's first and ten. For two. Well, that two point conversion attempt failed miserably. I mean, that was just terrible. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. First and ten. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they knock you out. The quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. And that'll be second and eight to go. No one was interested in that incomplete pass. Eh, not a ball's feelings are hurt. Hey, don't make me explain that balls don't have emotions again, all right? Third down and eight. <laughs> and the quarterback drills one in for the first down. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where are we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? I'm going to go to a strip tease show. Where are we going? Hey, why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. I'm still on Silla. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever.
second down and more than the QB would like. First and ten. Oh, nice hit. Second down and seven. warming up. Air ball! Hey, did we start letting ghosts just to the NFL grim? No, that was just a shitty pass to absolutely no one. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. Nice catch, and he turns on the... You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And it's first and ten. He blasted and picks up seven yards right there. Second and three. Hey man, nobody can touch you with eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, Pop? Third down and well, good luck. First down. See if they can get something going here. And it's first and ten. That's a six-yard gain. And that'll be second down and four. It's a first down from a great catch. Wasn't a catch, though. Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. Talk about Butterfingers. He should have had that one. Second down and ten. Sticks his fingers in the defender's eyes, netting him a pickup of about eight on the play. Third and two. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It's good. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. They're going to be able to return this one. And he 
sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And he runs it for four yards. Third down and six. Crusher right there, folks. And it's first and ten. Ouch! What is this, Annie's wrestling? Second down and two. brain cells before that hit they're gone now he's gonna have the iq of a rutabaga after that hit and it's first and ten and he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored nicely done Move, baby. No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> well, little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. <laughs> quarter three comes to an end, but this game is far from over and will be decided in the final quarter. And it's first and ten. when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> Man, he's running like a bull on steroids. That'll be a first down. First and ten. Call man about a six yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. My parole officer calls. I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night locked up for solicitation. You've got to catch that. And four. First down! This guy just loves to hit people as hard as he can, Grim. I don't even think he knows what a first down is. And it's first and ten. And they stack the line and he gets his bell rung for a yard. Second down and nine. Uh, uh -oh. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talking to you. Uh, uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. 
was an all-pro NFL hit. Now this kick is no guarantee. Sure it is. If he misses, he's fired. Guaranteed. He is automatic. Nice kick. Boring. Just give him the points and let's move on. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chick wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. And that pass is good for about five yards. Second down and five. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Third down and five. And they go to the ground game and pick up the first. Nicely done. And it's first and ten. No, well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Second down and ten. Nice pick up for six yards. Four. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. He might have managed to dig out a yard on that one. Not my yard. Got too much buried in, you know, the usual money, bodies, coffee cans filled with, well, uh, you know, mostly coffee. Tastes better, like as opposed to burying salmon eggs, kimchi. I'm at it, anything really tastes good. Six-yard game there. That's a solid pickup. I wish people would do solid pickups more often. I step in dog turns on my front porch every day. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. And he snags it for six. Touchdown! Touchdown! Seriously, man, you think you go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? You get my grill, I'll ruin your world. Ruin it. And here comes the extra point attempt. Straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. That's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant me. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. Oh, nice hit. They quickly call a timeout, hoping to save some time for their offense. Second down and a lot. And that is a big gain. You know the defense.
Edge wants some payback after that. The defense has to make something happen here with one timeout left. And that'll bring up third and one. Just some good old downhill running there as he picks up the first down. The defense calls their last timeout. I don't know if they can pull off a win, Glenn. Why is that, Bricks? Uh, just a gut feeling. It also might be that porterhouse I ate for breakfast. How are you still alive? Drugs. Caught for the first down. And it's first and ten. for nine on that play. And that'll bring up second and one. Feel like a monkey trying to fuck him. And he held on to that one for a first down. The Blitzburg Steelheads win this one. And let's hear what the game's MVP has to say. Yeah, right. Go home to your fast cars, million-dollar mansions, the Dorfman girls, and your beautiful trophy wives, you losers. At least they're not attached to a loser like me. All right, losers. Let's hear what the game's MVP has to say. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy. <laughs>